All right, so we're getting into the dog days of summer. So we're gonna be looking at some products that are interesting ideas to stay cool on the hot days of summer. And the first one I'm gonna be looking at is the Chillo. I saw this one on TV for the first time probably about a month or a month and a half, a month and a half ago and it kind of intrigued me. I'm one of those people who really likes the other side of the pillow. I'm always flipping it over trying to get the cool side of the pillow. So in theory with this Chillo, you won't need to worry about that because this is going to keep your pillow so cool. Um, you can basically either put it on top of the pillow or you can slide it underneath your pillowcase. But then there are also several other things you can do with it. Like this kind of stuff. Put it behind your back. Put it under your feet. So it seems like a pretty simple idea. It's actually, um, you got to be a little bit more careful when you go ahead and you fill it and, and, and basically activate it. So it's supposed to relieve things like night sweats, hot flashes, um, painful backache, sore feet, fever, and more. So one of the first things I notice about it, like I said, you got to be very careful when you fill it up. So this is actually, you fill this thing with water. It doesn't fill up like a balloon. There's actually kind of a spongy material inside of here, and there's very specific instructions. You use like exactly one and three quarters of hot water, which is interesting, and you know, counterintuitive, but you actually have to fill it with hot water. That's going to help to activate the spongy material that absorbs it, which is going to keep the water and everything all smooth. Now, the physics behind this thing, which is actually fairly sound, and I think, you know, in theory works pretty well, is that water is a good conductor of heat, that it'll basically draw a lot of the heat off. Now, anybody who's gone swimming or anything, you know, just like, um, falling off a boat or something in the ocean, you're going to die a lot quicker in water at that temperature than you will in air temperature of that, you know, 35, 40 degrees if you're out in the northern Atlantic or something, you know. But even 60 or 70 degree water temperature eventually will kill you from hypothermia if you're in it long enough. So this, the idea is that even with room temperature, when you just have it laying around the house, like right now, it's probably, you know, 73, 74 degrees, that's still quite a bit lower than your body temperature. So when you put this kind of like this is what I would like it for. If you put it like this behind your back and you rest on it with it covering a big part of your back, I mean this thing really will send shivers down your spine. And uh, you could put it in the fridge too and cool it down even more. I think that would actually be overkill and maybe make it slightly uncomfortable. But you really feel this draw the heat out of your body. Now when you fill this thing up, after you've got it filled with the right amount of water and you let it absorb and activate, then you have to roll it up like this and you have to let the water come right out of the top here and then you plug it while the water is right there so that there's no air whatsoever in here and you need to have the transfer of heat to go from your body directly into the water and then this water needs to put it back out into the air through the back side which is the breathable more breathable side where this is the sealed side so in theory it's drawing the heat in from this side and it's putting it back out into the air from this side now, if you have an air pocket inside of this, even a little one, it's going to release that heat back into that air pocket inside of here. So that's why it's crucial that this thing is completely airtight and only has the water in it. So now, that's in theory how it works. Now, this is my impression of it. I use it to sleep one night, and when you first go to bed, man, it's awesome. It really, something about the way the water draws that heat, like I said, it really gives you almost chills down the back of your neck and down your spine. And so I was like, wow, this thing works amazingly well, you know, for a hot night, this is really going to cool you down. Well, I'm a hot sleeper. I always have been. Um, a lot of times I can wake up, you know, where I've got to pull the covers off, where I feel too hot whenever I... You know, my ex-wife always said I was like a heater in the bed, you know, even on freezing nights, I would heat up the whole thing under there. And so for me, I really like the idea, but I woke up in the middle of the night about maybe 3.30, 4 in the morning. So after sleeping on this thing for probably like four or five hours, possibly, um, and the whole thing had really heated up. I swear the water temperature in this thing was like 100 degrees. And so then it was just kind of miserable, you know, because it was hot and this thing was just hot water. And so I think it couldn't absorb the heat and put it out quickly enough throughout the night to keep it on for eight hours. So that I didn't like it for and I wouldn't use it to sleep with. And honestly, if you have a nice soft pillow, um, you know, this is just isn't something that feels as nice as a pillow to sleep on, you know, it's sort of 
But anyways, but what I have found is that if you want just something to cool you down and you put it on your back while you're watching TV, that this can really be actually fairly pleasant, you know. This will draw a lot of heat. You can use it for maybe a half hour, an hour until it kind of warms up a little and then take it off. But um, it works pretty well at this type of thing. Um, under your feet might work fairly well. But like I said, I didn't have much luck sleeping on it and using it for a pillow. But, you know, maybe if you're not as hot of a sleeper as I was, you know, you might be able to get through the night on it. But anyways, it's an interesting idea. Um, I haven't seen anything exactly like it before. Basically a big water pad that absorbs heat out of your body, you know, by laying it. It's fairly big. You can see it'll cover most of your torso. So even for fever, if you were sick and laying back with this thing on you, I think this would feel pretty good. And see, if you have it on your pillow, then it's being pressed between your pillow and you, and it's harder, I think, to release the heat. Whereas if you were just laying on your back, it could release that heat pretty easily off of you. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, so I don't think it's something I would use um, particularly often. But if you lived in one of the hotter states and it was really miserable, this is something that might give you a little bit of relief. And like I said, you could try putting it in the fridge as well. And that thing would come out really cold then. But anyways, that is the Chillo. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link to where I got this online. So I'd probably give it maybe three out of five stars. It can, you know, serve some function. But I don't think it's really going to be used for the main thing that they claim it to be used for, which is a pillow cover. Alright guys, catch you on the next one. Stay cool.